When this bathroom remodel project, the two sink shutoff valves will not close and dripping water on the floor. Definitely need to replace them before we continue with the remodel project. A few choices we considered is one, just remove the old valves, solder a cap on each pipe and install the new ones after the remodel. Or just replace them with the new valves now and be done with it. We chose the latter to avoid doing things twice. Let's go over the parts and tools needed. Because these fittings are soldered, you will need a soldering torch, lead free, flux and brush, sandpaper, solder wire has to be lead free, boring and uh, reaming tools to clean the pipes, and half inch brush for inside and outside the copper pipes. You will need a striker to light the torch. Unless you have one of these that has a striker built into it already. Whatever you are comfortable with or you have handy. The valves we need are half inch by 3 8 Half inch is the pipe and 3 8 is the holes fitting size or copper pipe fittings. If your uh, faucet comes with that, sink faucet. The new ones we're installing are the ball joint type, so no rubber ring inside to worry about. The half inch side that will be soldered to the pipe on the wall. And here's the 3 8 hose that will be going to the sink faucet. We could easily cut off the pipe, but we plan on installing tiles on this wall, which will add some thickness to it. Plus the new sink vanity back panel adding to it even more. So not to end up with pipes too short coming out of the wall, we need to unsolder the old shutoff valves. Simply heat the fitting and have pliers ready to pull it off when the solder is at melting temperature. By wiggling side to side with the pliers it will easily come off. Now some people will just put the new fitting on the pipe while the old solder is still hot and add more solder to it. But we are going to clean the old solders by sanding it down till we get down to the copper and then put on the new. Use the reamer to clean the bird inside the edge of the pipes. Use the half inch round brush to clean the inside of the pipe. We are taking the old round plates off and we'll replace them later on at the end of the remodel with a round split type. And always make sure that there's no water inside the pipe remove as much water as possible by bending the tubing down. If there's still water, use the torch to boil it off. Now take the sandpaper strips and sand all around the pipes till you see that shiny copper. Once cleaned, avoid touching it with your hands. You also want to take the new fitting and give it a quick brush as well. Add flux all around the two pipes. Then do the same to the new fittings. Now insert the new fittings and face them to the desired direction. Do the same to the other side. the torch and hold the flames on the coupling side to heat it and feed the solder on the opposite side of the flame. The solder will be attracted towards the heat source when heated enough. All you need is a small ring around the edge of the pipe and fitting. Wipe any access flux off the pipe and the fitting when done. To cool it off, as well as taking the flux off, flux contains acid and with time it causes corrosion that will damage the fittings and the pipe. It looks kind of green. If you ever seen it on a copper penny that's been exposed, that's what it looks like. It's that ugly green. And this completes this project. I hope this helps to get an idea on what's involved with removing and reinstalling a sweat shutoff valve. See the description for more details on tools needed for this project. And if you have any questions, feel free to come. And you all have a great day.